Hansel's car has literally broken into three pieces. Cameraman Robert Miller flying through the air as he was filming at the Meri Meri Dragway. The driver of the drag racer lost control at the finish line at 200 kilometers an hour, flipping Robert Miller several times in the air. In Bristol, Corey McLennathan had a qualifying run turn terrifying as his car broke in half and became a tumbling fireball. When the car began to break, the engine separated from the driver pod and the pod slammed into the wall. The first pieces crossed the line with a look at this. This was just last week, and you can see at the end of the run, you see the tire comes apart, and the back of the chassis actually breaks off, and then sends the car free, pieces and parts flying everywhere, the engine actually ends up on the other side of the wall. You see right there, the car makes that right turn, and the, when the parachutes came out, it actually pulled, according to Jim Oberhoff, it actually pulled the rear end away from the car, because the chassis was already broke by that point. Disaster struck at 500 kilometers an hour. Seen here in slow motion, Phil Lamartina's dragster becomes airborne. His chassis disintegrates. He's knocked unconscious. The dragster rolls three times. 60 litres of nitromethane explodes as he hits the barrier. The front wheels left behind. The Fabietti's big moment at Sydney Dragway earlier this season. Yeah, after banging the supercharger, a whole bunch of oil ignited inside the race car. Fab. great and uh, everything sounded great the motor was you know sounded great and uh, next thing I know the I'm, I'm driving a convertible out there it uh, <laughs> it basically uh, tagged a uh, intake valve on number eight the spring broke so just a parts failure and uh, nothing that my crew or Tommy DeLago did it's just a wild ride and uh, performance US Nationals not just limited to the NHRA mellow yellow drag racing series this is Florida's Tim Tyndall in round one action of pro mod gets the car out of shape climbs the wall then gets shot airborne before ending in a twisted, mangled crash at the end. All I can say is I'm thankful that he walked away from this. We were all holding our breath because it was a violent crash after getting it completely sideways, limited downforce, it just slid right into that wall. And if he's trying to hang with it, he made the right choice. Whoa! Derek pedaled it, tried to get back after it, gets it sideways over into the wall and up on its roof in the shutdown area. Derek Kramer's car shook, rattled the tire. Here we go. Wow, Pete Barber looped that baby and smacked the wall hard. Throttle goes wide open, Pete whacked. Oh, Allen's car goes left when he let the clutch out. Oh, and V Gaines, top end, gets in trouble. Whoa, Monty Green over. John Bisky also into the wall at the top end right there. As I believe he got into the parachute of Monty Green's car. There. John Bisky will take the win, but nobody cares right now. Danny Rowe. Finish line strike 6.529. 211.46. Bo Butner goes to the number five spot. And Aaron gets a little bit better. No parachutes out on Aaron Strong's car. Look at him smoking the front tire though. And that brand new beautiful Camaro is going on the beach. Boom! Caps lights it up right at the finish line stripe after he runs 3.970. The Napa car backfires. Camaro made a move. He straightens it out. Whoa, watch that Corvette top hit. Wade spins that baby all the way around.
Whoa! Larry crashes hard right at the finish line. Both wow, Cruz burned one up down there and still goes 406. And Matt Hagan explodes one. He has got an inferno. Oh, Leah's got some liquid coming out of hers, and she is on fire. Both of them, as a matter of fact. Oh, cop bluey. Gary Densham goes 405, and he doesn't have a parachute out. Gary Densham is going hot into the sand. Oh, and into the catch net at the top end of the racetrack. Jim can't.